This is a quick tutorial to show you how to use the Reflector app to mirror your iPad, iPhone or iPod Touch onto your computer. The first thing you want to go, you're going to want to do is go to airscrolls.com slash reflector and either down, well you're going to have to download the app to your computer first so that you can try it for seven days for free or if you know that's something that you want then you can click on buy straight away and you will have an email sent to you that gives you the um, product code you need in order to activate it. If you want this for more than one device, more than one computer, then there are different licenses that you that are available and you can check those out there. Now I already have this downloaded. You can see in the bottom corner here, there is my reflector app icon. So the first thing I would do is I would make sure I have that opened up. And I do. And what you'll initially see is just a blank screen with the word reflector written up here. So not a lot's happening. I already have mine displayed up here so you can see how this works. And I'm going to scroll up. If you can see down the bottom here, I have a little AirPay icon. And if I pull this up, I have a range of choices of different devices that I can mirror my device to. I have some Apple TVs, and right here I have my MacBook Air. This green switch here indicates that I am mirroring it. If I turn this off, I slide it off right now, then it's going to disappear. I slide it back on and it should reappear. And there it is. So once I've done that, I can show different apps. I can screen share stuff. I can display all sorts of different things that might be useful in my class, such as uh, apps like BAM Video Delay. Now, under the device section, I can choose to enter the full screen, and that's the only thing that I have showing there. I'm going to toggle back out of that one. I can choose to either have a frame or not have a frame showing, and I can also change the color as well if I want to. You can even record yourself when you're doing um, Reflector App. However, there is no audio that takes place alongside this. I can stretch it to fit. I can change the orientation, make it go landscape, or if I wanted to, just make sure it does it automatically. Now, the other beautiful thing about this is I can actually have more than one device mirroring at any one time. So I now have two iPads displayed up here, which again, if I'm using a video delay um, platform, I can actually have two different stations, two different video delays working at the same time. And again, if I decide to go to the full screen, I'm going to see both of these devices and whatever I'm doing on those will change according to what it is I'm trying to do. So that's a quick intro into using the Reflector app. Um, way cheaper than getting an Apple TV, although Apple TV obviously has its uses. And I hope you found this useful. Thank you.